Hello guys, and welcome back to some World of Tanks. So, um, I just played a pretty good round of um, World of Tanks here. And I got... I dealt 455 damage, which is the most damage. Uh, I'm tied with the other Panshager. I got 3 kills under the Panshager, which is pretty good. With the same tank, and I got 460 XP. So, um, yeah. Um, I end up dying in this round, as you might see. Um, but I think I did pretty well. So I tracked one, two guys, and I also hit the engine on this guy. I killed him, him, and him. Dealt 114 damage to him, 62, 127, and 152 damage. So I did quite a lot of damage, yeah. Um, but. I think I'm just gonna go into the replay and we'll take it from there. Um, see you in a second. So now we're back into the match. It's this map is Karelia. It's quite a good map, and we're playing a standard battle, um, which is you have to take out the whole of the team or capture that base. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, if you look down on the minimap, mini map, I'm gonna go over around this point I think it was and then just um, do some sniping from there and if you noticed in, in the chat I said um, good luck and have fun to all the people and a lot of them responded which is it's really it really made me happy so props to you guys for um, say, for being nice um, so yeah I'm following here with three light tanks and I'm a tank destroyer, and I'll go up there somewhere. Um, so, at first, this guy he just sprints in. I think it's a scout tank. It's a light tank. I don't know what kind of tank it is, but yeah. So I get here, I get the first shot. Enemy armor is hit. And then I switch back out so I can. Like, what the hell? This tank is so slow, slow at turning. Oh, One more shot, and then the other guys can't hit him. So I just take them out. So I basically got the first kill of the match, which is pretty good. Um, so I get shot from over there by that guy. That's a light tank. Um, he gets taken out before I can um, get over the crest here. Um, so I decide to go on and see if I can see anything over this way. So I see a tank destroyer. Um, but I won't go over the ridge because I know he's aiming at me. So, um, as one of my friendlies, I find out that he's there, and they take him out. So, I know that nobody's aiming at me right now. So I move up, and I thought I saw a guy over there, but he was actually over there, where I'm running at. And this guy, he's um, hiding behind a rock, and my friend shot him, so he comes backing out, and then I get Enemy hit him. Hit. I think, do I get hit? That one didn't go through! Uh, I tracked him, and then I... Enemy armor I kill him. Do I? Yeah, I do. I, get, I kill him. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Um, I couldn't see him anymore. He wasn't spotted, but I, but I knew where he was because he was tracked. That means he can't move. So I knew exactly where he was. So I just kept my crusher at the exact same point as I did when I hit him before. So I got that kill. And now I'm waiting here. I'm trying to do some. Um, I cannot spot because I don't have my binoculars yet. They're like 500,000 coins, which is a lot. So, that's um, annoying. Um, but, I see our guys uh, moving up over here. I think this guy will stay back there. Yeah, he goes up there. But our three light tanks, they move up. And they all get killed somehow. I don't know how they manage, but they do. So, I think I'm just gonna a little bit. I tried to get this guy, but uh, it doesn't happen. So now they've quickly taken care of all of our light tanks. I th now I think I tried to go for that guy over there, but I cannot see him. I tried to move out, but still doesn't matter. I see this guy over here. Or those guys over there. So I just take a few sh shots on them, because they... Um, was unspotted, so I could not see them anymore. Um, 
I think I moved somewhere else after this, actually. Yeah, I stand in this bush for, for a little bit. I just see this guy over here. He comes up behind the rock. I see on the mini map. I know exactly where he is. This guy just took a shot at him. Hit him. So now I go up here. And apparently he sees me too. So I get a sh I miss him. And he hit me. And now I have absolutely none health. But I know where he is. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for him to... Uh, to show up. Which will happen sooner or later. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I hit him. Track him. Move back behind the rock so he can shoot me. I think he may have just missed that. Got him. take him out. Um, so what happens now is that I have to hide behind this rock because I have absolutely none help. And I know there's a tank destroyer around this area. Out here because I saw him before. So. I'll just speed it up, but I'll I basically sit here until I die. But it's not what happens here that's special. It's more what happens afterwards. Um, it's not the tanks that's alive than the ones, which is actually out. might have contributed to our winning this match. So, um, I follow this guy. I see that he's going back behind the base up there. So he just sits up here and wait for a second. Uh, camps a base because uh, if those two other guys there we have who else we have we have a Panzerjäger which is the same as I was and then a cruiser four. Um, so now they they spot the two other tanks. Uh, I think that's a Panzerjäger right there who got taken out. Yeah, I think that's the guy that I hit. And normally he would have taken two shots from the um, the cruiser over there. Um, but I did have self, so that's quite good. They got rid of him, and now it's three versus three. And I think, yeah, they spot this guy. And I think now he gets uh, unspotted four. So this guy, he's like, okay, okay, we want to get this match done. That's a punch guy in E3, which is look down on the map, right there, oh there. Um, so that basically means he's hiding there and he wants to get the match over and done with as soon as possible. Which I understand. So this guy, the Panchaga, he is sitting out here in front waiting for the guy to come out. And it takes some time. Oh yeah, no. I apparently I switched back to my view. To my dead tank. Don't know why. Okay, and, and now I'm at the cruiser again. Why did I do that? Is that? One of our tracks is damaged. He gets him one more time. Yeah, and then he gets shot. And that's the Mada too. Um, it's also a tank destroyer. It's a tier three tank destroyer. Yeah. So now. Who's left is the. Um, there's the cruiser over there, and then there's the um, T18 way up there. I don't know why I'm sitting watching this guy for so long. Come on, hurry up. But, so, apparently the T18 way up there he just got hit. So this cruiser, I say, uh, tell him to flank this guy up here, the matter, um, because he's basically an, in a rock duel with this guy. So that um, I want the um, cruiser to come up behind this way, maybe, and then shoot him in the back. But before that happens, um, they got like they do ring around the rosy, around the stone. So, now, this guy comes up here, and he misses the first shots. Um, the Mada almost turns around and get the T-18. Um, now, the um, cruiser comes up again. And he's basically just waiting for that guy to come out, and he gets up. So, that's basically this match. I think it went pretty well for me, and the other guys in the team. So, um... 
yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. You can lift your head up to the sky. Take a deeper breath and give it time. You can walk the path among the lines with your shattered frame of mind. It's that you could always stay. We can wait right here and play until somehow you can find a slightly better.